Hey guys, and welcome to something new. We are on the decidedly vanilla SMP server, which is a private whitelist Minecraft server for a bunch of YouTube content creators. It's a bit of a smaller one, but some people you might recognize are on here. Nash Crafter plays on here, Germsy Boy plays on here, Pixel Rift plays on here, and a bunch of other people. I think Nash is actually, I think that's her place right over there. But um, yeah, so I have recently joined up with the server and am really, really excited to get going on it. I am kind of looking forward to doing the whole beginning grind again, and it gives us something cool to do for another vanilla survival series and making sure we want to be doing something different than our Building with Whip series, which is very much focused around a medieval fantasy world. And I want to be doing something a little bit different on this guy. I don't really know quite what yet. I think in this episode, we're just going to find somewhere to kind of claim as our home because a lot of people already have been playing on here for a few months. The server's this world here is a few months old, I know already, and we gotta we gotta find a place that isn't where somebody have already built things. And I'm not the redstoney genius, so luckily I don't have to be in charge of that. And people already have some farms up. I'm not gonna be using them a whole lot because I think that's kind of cheating. We gotta go through the original grind ourselves. So I'm gonna make sure that until we unlock something ourselves, we're not gonna use it from another player. I think that's a fair way of doing it. But they have a bit of a custom world preset going on here, kind of like that. A world preset command that I had shown you guys a while ago that we generated or that we did in a video just looking at a few different things and so they have that on here as well and it allows for some awesome train like you would never find a mountain like this in just regular vanilla Minecraft I'm gonna grab this coal real quick because we really need it I'm not really sure if anybody owns this area or anything like that so I don't really know what's going on I'm gonna try and go away from people a little bit just kind of to have my own area that we I basically want to be out of render distance of everybody, just kind of to let those people preserve their own space. I don't want to be intruding on people's stuff. And I haven't really had a chance to get much exploring done in here yet. I literally just logged on, I think for the second time. The first time I was trying to get it, go tour with somebody, but they, we ended up having like a miscoordination and couldn't meet up. So yeah, this is what we're going to be doing here, guys. I'm really, really excited to get going with this. Um, so I'm playing with ideas right now for doing like a modern skyscraper build or something. I kind of want to, I don't really know how long this world's going to be up for because I know they do seasons here. So I think we got a few months here at least for building stuff, but I don't really want to tackle like a big castle, especially because that's kind of what we're doing over in building with whip is all those types of things. So I kind of want to do like a classic Minecraft base and I think it could be kind of fun to do something like a moderny build, something of that sort, just something different than what we do like so I don't know you guys will have to let me know what you think we should be doing where we should be going with it I'm gonna keep getting some more of this coal up right here real quick and then I'm gonna go do some exploring and hopefully come back to you guys once we got something looking a little bit better maybe maybe a home we'll see all right guys so I think I actually found a location we can settle down at it looks pretty legit I really really like this one and we're pretty far away from everybody else. I'm going to have to double check with those guys to make sure nothing else is around here before I kind of get too established here. But I think we're going to go ahead and get to work on a little bit of a house to get ourselves going. And this episode, I, or I, so far I went ahead and got some stone uh, tools. And I want to go ahead and get just somewhere safe that we can actually just kind of throw our gear in for now. Or just like make a few chests, get our bed in there, just somewhere that we can live in and kind of pseudo claim this area because I don't think anybody's really nearby. I've been looking all over the place and so far I haven't been able to find anything. I went, kind of traveled off in each direction quite a ways just to make sure and we're actually almost out of food. So I think we got to kill Mr. Sheepy here. Sorry, sheep. Yep, bye bud. And bam, that should be good. I want to leave some alive so we can start breeding them later on. But yeah, so my general idea that I was thinking right here, if you guys think this is kind of dumb, we can nix it and do it. I can do it some other time with some other build later on because I think it'd be kind of fun. But there's, because I live in downtown, there's a lot of new buildings going up around me. For those who don't know, Seattle is, this is a funny side note after this, but Seattle is one of the city, it has the most skyscrapers, like our construction cranes up in any city out of the entire US. And I think it's second in the world right behind Dubai. Um, but anyway, sorry, that funny tangent right there. I was talking with some friends and we were talking about how every single person you know probably has 10 fun facts 
that they repeat over and over again when they're trying to like meet new people or just share random things, carry a conversation going, or when you're walking around with them, walk in an area that like you know pretty well and you guys walk there. Like say if you have a friend you go to the mall with, do they always have a fact that they repeat every single time you go there, every few times you go there, that's just like one of the same facts every single time? You guys will have to let me know if that's the case because me and my buddies have been kind of keeping track of it with uh, new people we hang out with or new people in the group and it's just a total inside joke where people just randomly start cracking up when the person um, has made like the same comment about it every single time. Like that skyscraper one or the cranes one that I was just telling you guys, that's one of my dad's like 10 facts. Like every single time we're walking around downtown with him to go out and grab dinner or something like that, he always says it every single time. And my girlfriend just looks at me and starts laughing because it's, we, I don't, we haven't really told him that we just think it's so funny, but every single time we're downtown, something like that, something will come up about the cranes that it's just some new construction going, somebody will say something and then he'll be like, did you know that we actually have the most cranes out of any city in the US? And we're at like 54 or something like that, which is 10 above the second place. And it's every single time it's something along those lines. But I just think that type of stuff is so funny. Anyway, so we got a little bit of a clearing right here that will probably be good to get a little base started. I'm a huge fan of this terrain generation that we have going on in this world. It's so freaking cool. I love it. It makes the world look so much more interesting and actually like smooth terrain to work with. And we got a little cave right there too. Actually, oh, this is gonna be awesome. We have a crap ton of coal too. I got a whole stack of it mate. basically when I was uh, breaking that wooden pickaxe in the beginning, we got 58 coal. So we got a lot of awesome stuff we can get going with here. I'm just gonna clear out a few of these trees and I think I'm gonna smooth this area out here a little bit. And I think we're gonna go ahead and kind of just plop down a little generic starter home here. So let's go ahead and get some work done on that guy. All right, so we got the start of generic house. Uh, I think this is like number 17 or something like that. But yeah, so this is kind of the general plan. Sorry, just getting a few more oak planks in here. Um, this is kind of the general plan I have going. I wanna bring this front area up. Let me turn this render distance down a little bit, sorry. Uh, let's go back to 12 like we normally play on. So I wanted to go ahead and bring this guy up to here and then bam, bam. And then, so this little room over here, I think we're gonna do it as a second story as well. So we can have like a little staircase or something right over there. We can get a cool second story going on in it. But so we got that room right there, a little bedroom or something we got here, which we can throw some chests and crafting and all that good stuff. And then on that wall, we can do some more chests or we can do the staircase. We'll do a staircase in here and a wall of chests and we might move the bedroom up to the second floor and this will probably be our crafting area for now. But I think this will be a good starting place because I don't want to establish up too much here if we have to pick up and move. But yeah, so I'll have to check into that here pretty soon. I'll just drop a message over in the chat and see what anybody says because nobody's on the server right now, sadly. But <laughs> yeah, so we will see what's going on there. So with how many sheep are in this area, I think it's pretty safe to assume that nobody's really come through here. It's like none of the trees are destroyed. All this is pretty perfect. So our place is right up over that hill. And I'm trying to run around and find some spruce wood because I want to use that for the house here, getting set up a little bit because I'm kind of picky and I want to make sure the first build we have on the server looks pretty decent instead of just a random little shack. And I want to get all these eggs so we can start getting an auto egg uh, maker. So we can just do what we did there because I know the eggs are pretty useful. And we might get that auto chicken cooker set up again here like we did at the beginning of building with whip. I think that thing is probably a good idea to have, especially because it's just so, so easy. So easy to make. You just need a little bit of redstone and it's something redstone-y that even I can understand, which means literally anybody can make it. So as we found out recently, redstone skills are not up to par. But yeah, so we got all this stuff up here. I'm really hoping there's, I saw the snow over here, so I was really hoping there'd be some spruce trees, but it doesn't quite look like there are. We might have to figure out a way to climb this mountain, which seems like it's gonna be a little bit harder than, than easier said than done. Well, yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be an interesting one. Aha, a spruce tree, <laughs> there is one over here. We don't need a whole lot of it, so we should be fine. And I really gotta get used to not jumping and sprinting because we're already out of food and we gotta somehow make it back. So I don't really know what's gonna happen. Yeah, we gotta get all this stuff down here that would be very, very nice to have. 
And yeah, this should be just enough because I just want to make some stairs. I don't really need a whole lot. I do want that right up there. Let's. I'm going to kill all these leaves and go explore a little bit and come back and get the saplings because those will be nice to have too. So I'll meet you guys back at the base. Ooh, there's another over here. So I'll be honest, I'm kind of lost. I don't really, I think we're over that way. Is that I think, yeah, I don't think that's us. I think we are over this way. But I, I'll be honest, I got really, oh, there's some lava here. That'd be good. That'd be good for later when we try and get into the nether and link up with everybody. Um, yeah, so we're on our way home. And I went ahead and found a desert, which is kind of near our place, which is nice. But my body uh, was starting to grumble, and all we got on us to eat is some raw mutton and some eggs and some cactus. And I don't think any of those sound too great right now, and we can't sprint anymore. So this is going to be a slow, slow process to get it home, unless we are right. Oh, wow, we are so lucky. <laughs> I think there's some cooked up mutton right in here, which can fill our belly up. And then we can finish up. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, perfect. Just what I want to see. Go ahead and grab some more coal. Throw that in there. I know we're wasting coal, but we need food. There's not a whole lot we can really do about it. We can munch on some mudding. All right, now that we're all filled up, I'm going to show you guys what I'm planning on doing with all of this stuff we got going on here. So, for starters, I want to go ahead and get some of uh, you. That should be enough. We might need one more. Ah, we're going to need one more. Let's get 12. So for our second floor, I want to go with a style where it kind of comes out a little bit from the base. So it gets a little bit wider as it goes up, just to get some extra depth to it. And it's not looking so flat and we only needed exactly eight. So, you know, lucky us. But yeah, so now we need to go ahead and I think I used all of our oak planks on there. So I need to get up some more oak wood and then we can go on from there. And we got some right there so we can start with this guy. But how do we get up to the top? Let's just do that. That looks like a great place for a staircase right now. So I wanted to go ahead and bring these guys up to here like that. And then we're going to need to go ahead in here as well. We can actually go ahead and use these guys because we can just do something like that. And then we can do that and that because I want this to basically be the same going all the way around here and perfect. Then we can come in with our oak wood planks and do this kind of thing going around and it'll allow us to have a little bit wider of a space for this floor, which will be pretty nice. And we can grab our birch, which we don't actually have a whole lot of, but the birch is pretty much gonna be our floor up here as well. So we need to fill the rest of this guy in, but more or less, we're gonna go ahead and just bring this stuff up another two blocks. And then we might actually do a little bit more than that. Cause I think it'll look a little short and fat if we don't bring it up too high. So yeah, I got to get a lot more oak wood so, and birch wood it looks like. So I'll be back with you guys probably when I've killed this stone axe. So the house has been coming along pretty well, I got to say. Uh, I'm currently waiting for those trees to start growing up. But we got a cool little section up here that I'm actually really, really excited about. So we got this little bit here and I'm just doing some stair blocks right there just to make a cool looking shape to the roof and get a little bit more detail to it. But we got an awesome little room up here that looks a lot, lot better. It's These leaves are gonna fall off pretty soon. Just go, yeah. I really like the shape of this. I think what I am going to do though, is I'm gonna use some more of this oak wood right here, and I wanna set the trim a little bit better on these guys. So this area right here, I wanna go ahead and come in and place in oak wood going sideways, just to give a little bit more of a trim. I was thinking about coming in with trap doors along the bottom, but I think the oak wood is going to look a little bit better because it's going to be a bit more of a bold, bold transition here. I think that's what I kind of want to mess with in this world for this season, at least, is doing some harsh or not harsh, but like using a lot of bold colors, a lot of bold things. Whereas in building with whip, we try really hard to make everything flow together and work together really well. Whereas here, I think we can try and make some like really bold transitions in Instead of working with like the palette of that really, really smooth gradient, I really, that's why I'm kind of thinking about the modern theme, okay? To get my reasoning out behind the modern theme is we had the world of color update in Minecraft and I felt like I haven't used a whole lot of those blocks. Granted, the um, glazed terracotta, didn't even remember what they're called because I've never used them besides a little tiny, tiny bit here and there. 
Um, I really want to go ahead and try and use those. Like, I really want to push myself to try and better learn how to use those blocks because I feel like there are a lot of great uses for them. And I feel like we just need to find something to do with it. Like, there's a lot of... They're kind of suited better for larger builds, sadly. They're not really that great for the small ones. They're better for, like, the large, strong, strong, bold colors of really large houses and things like that. But... Yeah, so I think we could try and make some cool things out of that. So what I want you guys to do in the comments below is let me know ideas that would be something to be very, very colorful where we could use a lot of that type of stuff. Even if we like say turn that into like a giant clam shell or something and lived in a giant clam and like did some cool coral hanging off of it. I don't know, random, random idea that just popped into my head. But something like that could be kind of cool to work with. Basically I'm waiting. But what I'm gonna do now guys is I'm waiting for those spruce trees to grow up so we can finish off that roof. And then I think that'll probably do it for today's episode. So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna try and get some farming set up right here, uh, just with some seeds. And I'm gonna go get some sand, probably from just a shoreline down there, um, so we can make some glass. And I feel like I'm saying um a lot, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I I feel like I've gone back into the habit of that a lot recently. Like I was doing really, really well for a while. And then randomly it just was like, I started doing the editing and I was like, what's wrong with me, man? Just that that word, every every sentence, it's just there. <laughs> Instead of just like, I could just pause and not say a word and it'd be like more of a dramatic effect than like, um, 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 hey guys, um, yeah, hey, um, yeah, we're working on this um thing, um, and yeah, so let me get the sand and get some glass smell. Hopefully this is the last tree we're gonna need. We probably are gonna need to grab one more, but I'm just sitting here AFK waiting for a tree to pop up. That's pretty much all I've been doing. And oh man, just the theme of the videos this week is not enough time to record. So we'll hopefully be able to get this guy on here and get it all finished up, ready to go. And I'm thinking next episode, we're probably just gonna get around and doing some mining and try and get some iron tools and get going. Um, just kind of get everything going so we can move forward and probably we just need to start getting some farm set up and things like that. We got to deal with our food situation. So I think that'll probably be a theme in next episode as well. But yeah, so let me see. Let's see how much this will finish off in here. How many things we can get set up. And there's another 20. I think we're just going to be shy again because you can see we got that rest of that guy and this whole gap right in here to fill in, which I think is going to need nine. Actually, we might be good with this. I, Yeah, that's oh, so far so good. We either need nine or 12 for this one. So let's see, I think we need nine. And you're upside down, I don't care. Um, let's go this way and bam, bam. You know, it almost looks better having it. It almost looks better having the, like an upside down one right there in the center just to get that extra little bit of sticky outiness. But I think for the mob proof sake, we're gonna go with that. It already messed up the roof a little bit to give a little bit of a bump to it. But yeah, guys, that is our starter house. Look at that. We got a cool little place in it. Wait, wait, wait. Before before we do anything, we got to get the windows in. We got a glass. We got to go ahead and make some stained glass panes. And we can come over here and do bam, bam. Then run on up here and get these windows in too. Can't forget the windows. The windows are like make or break it for the build, obviously. No, but mostly I just don't want a skeleton popping in my window when I'm trying to sleep. But yeah, guys, like I said, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know what you, you guys want to be seeing this series since we're starting up this new one. I Like I said, I want to do something different than what we're doing in Building with Whips. I don't really want to do a medieval theme. We could do something else like similar to it just depends on what you guys say this is kind of our home for now i'm thinking we're gonna terraform it like crazy probably i don't want to deal with all these birch trees i'm a probably <laughs> we're gonna have like a massive birch tree clearing day or something like that just clear all these trees out and clear the whole place out but we got an awesome lake there we got some mountains back there but anyways guys thank you so much for watching i do hope you've enjoyed this episode please hit that like button if you did subscribe if you loved it and i will see you guys in the next episode of decidedly vanilla